Hey, what's up YouTube? My name is Chad. This is the Wisco Boater Channel and this video we have some exciting news. You're going to see three boats that I looked at. This is an 11th hour update um, on a basically three week old video uh, from boats that I've looked at for the last three weeks. But there are three Catalina 381s in this video, a 1985, the first one, a 1989 is the second one, and then 1984 is the third one. And the exciting news is we have a deal on the 84. Uh, the survey is coming up on the 2nd of August, so that will be a video. I'm going to go down to Racine, Wisconsin and be present for the survey and uh, do the sea trial. So hopefully we can wrap up this deal fairly quickly. But the, uh, the third boat that you're going to see is the one that is under contract. As of this video, I have everything lined up that needs to be lined up for, uh, what's the word? Uh, hmm. can't think of the word you know when you gotta like meet have have certain things met before a sale is made like conditions contingencies that's the word um, I, <laughs> the contingencies are financing, survey, sea, and sea trial. So survey, sea trial will be on the same day, uh, hopefully, fingers crossed. And uh, like I said, there'll be a video on that. But right now, let's go uh, take a look at the video and look at these three Chris Craft Catalinas. Third one, super nice. Um, I think it's, uh, it's going to work awesome, and I think you really like it. So off to uh, Waukegan and Racine to look at boats. And uh, today I'm back down in... Uh, Northern Illinois. I'm heading over to Waukegan again uh, and unfortunately it's not to purchase or pick up the uh, Catalina 381 Stella Maris that I had a contract on and was the subject of the uh, last video that I did on what could be our next boat. Sorry about the view and the steering wheel being in the way but where my phone mount is right now it's just uh, Kind of in a bad spot but i wanted to do a quick intro before i get over there there's another video out on why stella maris did not work out um, so check that out if you haven't done so already um, but uh, the quick version is the right engine needs to be replaced and the quote i got for the engine is way too high to make the boat uh, worth purchasing even at a discounted price so check out that other video for more details Today I'm going to look at two additional Catalina 381s at Larson Marine, uh, also in Waukegan, which basically just around the corner from uh, Bay Marine where uh, Weber Yachts was representing the uh, Stella Maris Catalina. And um, I'm looking at an 85 and an 80, I think it's 85 and 87. Both boats are in the same building. Um, one is a soft listing that's not on the internet. The other one uh, has been for sale for just a little while now. Um, hasn't been used in a couple years, so it might be a little bit dirty, but it's said to be a mechanically sound boat. So I've got about a 30 minute drive over to Waukegan and hopefully the uh, broker with Larson Marine is okay with me videoing, uh, taking a look at these boats and we'll see what they look like. So. Off to Waukegan again. Okay, I've arrived at Larson Marine. Let's go see if we can find Captain Ed, who's going to show me the boats today. Carlisle, Larson Marine. I think this is probably the sales office. All right, let's go find Captain Ed. All right, we're here to look at Ursa Major, I believe is the name of this boat. This is Captain Ed. The broker that's representing the boat for the broker that has the listing. <laughs> All right. There's some major. A little dirty, but that can all be cleaned up. We're going to climb up in the helm cockpit area. I guess this is technically considered a cockpit back here, but yeah. It's always about about the dream how you anticipate using it 
but her dream is not always the same as yours. Exactly. These don't look to be too bad. I couldn't quite tell from the pictures what the if there was any cracking or anything on the seats. I've got a guy who does really nice upholstery work at a very, very reasonable rate, so. Screen. Looks like, is that a Loran? Yeah. yeah. Get some vintage yes. antique electronics. <laughs> well, Stella Maris had all vintage antique stuff as well. But, all right, we'll go down below here in a second. I'll show the, the Isinglass. Looks to be really nice. It's nice clear, especially it's being dirty. Yeah. It looks like it's, I mean, no fogging or crazing or anything on, on it. You can see through it nicely. So there is no ship power turned on right now, so you can't really see everything. I'm just using the camera light here to show uh, some of the details. But this boat is in every bit as good of condition as uh, Stella Maris was. Um, got nice bedding. Good headliner all around. So here's the VIP bathroom. Yes. VIP head. Shower. Okay, carpet is in real good shape on this one as well. A little bit of a kick, some kick damage there, but. So the salon is the same, very nice. Got a, a good quality blue cloth couch. Mm -hmm. A vintage chair that's kind of sweet. I've got a newer uh, right now, countertop, which I kind of miss that vintage railing that goes right here, but that's not a bad update. Okay, carpet in here is in really good shape. I'll go down below here in a second. But, uh, got the side door here. Got some window tinting on it, so it's a little bit wavy. And then uh, we'll go down here to the master stateroom. Nice big king bed. And the same thing back here, everything's in real nice shape. This boat's just, it's been on the hard for uh, two or three years, so I mean, the mechanicals need to be in working order, obviously, but I mean, as far as condition of the boat goes, it's very nice. Got carpet lined closets, or carpet lined lockers, if you're speaking in boating terms. Vintage. This is that vintage railing I was talking about. And then a full bathtub and shower back here. It's a nice boat. Okay, so go down in the engine room. Got some batteries in here. Assuming those might be new batteries, I still have caps on them. Got it? Yep. All right. And same engines, Mercury's are 340s. Need to verify the times. I think that they may have replaced the hour meters on the power panel because they show 263 or something like that, which is quite low. Everything looks nice down here. Looks like newer spark plug wires. Probably had a tune up recently. More batteries. More batteries. <laughs> There's the gen set. Water heater. 
I mean, the hoses all look good too. They're the other one that the other one needed some some hose replacement, the duct air ducting work. Of course, it's hard to tell with rubber hoses if anything's cracked or not. But normal cockpit area back here. Um, the thing I was wondering about was a okay, if they had a. Uh, I see the the uh, Weaver davits. I didn't know if it had an engine uh, engine stand. But that's not a big deal. So we'll walk up front here. Shore power. Radio antenna. And she is dusty. Got the radar. recover these seats for sure but yeah, those are a bit dirty but dirt can be cleaned this one does have the valve pulpit with the windlass that'd be a refinishing project Top's in good shape, but again, dirty. Not a big deal. Screens look good. Don't see any tears or anything. Okay. All right, we're back at the back. Weaver davits for the dinghy. Okay, I just did a walk on the swim platform. That seems solid. It's got these side pipes on it that uh, Stella Maris didn't have. That's kind of interesting. It might be a aftermarket, or maybe not even aftermarket, but a homemade PVC adapter or something. But bottom paint looks good. Props look decent. Solid. Okay, we'll look at the other one on the other side. The keel's in good shape. Is this, I don't see uh, registration numbers. Is this a documented vessel? I would imagine. Yeah, yeah. There's no numbers on the bottom. Yeah. Okay. A little bit of a buff up here and on this side. And let's look at this other propeller. play all right well it's quite warm in here and it's uh, sweaty I'm getting to be a sweaty mess so I'm gonna go back outside and uh, walk over to the building next door where the other 381 is all right <laughs> so this is boat number two uh, this one does have a hard top so we'll go up and take a look this is the soft listing that may or may not be for sale Okay, as mentioned, this does have a hard top, which is a very nice option that not many of them actually have. And this is kind of the, oh, this is the thicker icing glass on this side there. It's very nice. Seats in good condition. This 
has uh, he's been doing some work on it, so it's got some updated flooring, captain's chair, and a first mate's chair. Oh, oh, this is new and newer. Yeah. Oh, this has a and this has bar, a wet bar, wet bar up here. All right, and I hear the galley is different on this one. Yeah, the galley and the couch are swapped. And that they are. So forward, L-shaped seating area. So it's kind of nicely updated with new cabinetry and new refrigerator, countertops. He's going to upgrade to his lighting and oh, wiring. Yeah. Yeah. Flat screen TV mount. Flat oh, that down. retractable yeah. TV Pinches mount. Up. Okay, we'll go back here. This is this is all the same. These boats are, these 381s are pretty much all the same. But uh, this one obviously has got, he's doing some work on it. So some uh, panel pieces from the canvas. Headliner's all good. Okay. Okay. Updated generator. That's a Westerbeek. Crusaders in it. Okay. It looks nice and tidy again. But that generator looks brand new. 63 hours on it. Back in the cockpit area here. Take around a walk around the deck. Apologize about the noise from the plastic, but bit of corrosion on the back it's got different style trim tabs no uh, no dinghy debits on back there everything's in good shape clean up a little bit of corrosion all right well from uh, outside Larson Marine Waukegan just looked at uh, the two boats that I came down here to see today interested in both of them so I need to get in touch with the listing broker and uh, see where we might be able to make an offer on, on either of them. So, All right, hope the window isn't too bad. Uh, today I am down in Racine, Wisconsin to look at a 1984 Chris Craft Catalina 381. Imagine that. Uh, this one has been uh, very, very nicely updated. Uh, the salon is almost all brand new. Uh, it's got uh, kind of a refreshed cockpit helm area and a new canvas top on it. So it uh, should be really nice. And, uh, this one could be one as well. This, uh, the only thing this one doesn't have that I want is a generator, but um, the price is right. That can always be added later. So it's out here in this marina somewhere. I'm going to go meet the owner and the broker, which is being offered by Skipper Buds. Um, so let's go see what this boat looks like. Okay. I'm pretty sure. Uh, but as you can see, the delta is
So I, I do, uh, as I, oh, who's in here? You guys are in here. Um, so I do uh, um, aerospace electrical devices for aircraft. And one thing I always look at is wire tidiness. So it looks good. The shower sump that's down here, I haven't seen that on, on yeah. the others. Is that, uh, is, the, is that the actual shower sump yep. for the master? Yep. Okay. And the, the water that's in the keel there is about a normal amount? Yeah. Yep. I see the float switches yeah, those work. down, so yeah. Okay. It's got an oversized waste tank, which is fairly Ouch. new. I didn't replace it, but it's fairly new. Um, right there in the middle, right in front of it. Uh -huh. um, okay. Water heater works good. It heats up fast. It's small, but it heats up really fast. All the intake holes. Okay, for the state room. So the boat I have. Hatch. I remember to zoom out this time. This one has does have a forward shower, but they don't don't use it, so they turned it into shelving for storage space. But everything works. Carpeting. And then the flooring here is a uh, Swedish flooring uh, that John ordered custom because he wanted the design. And then the couches. That's the air conditioner <clears throat> vent that would blow forward to this front stateroom when the doors open. Okay. Bar area. John, you've done nice work here. It's, it's, it really looks nice. Okay, and then head to the aft stateroom. Same as the others. King bed. Uh, all the lighting's been updated to LED. And it does have a vent for the uh, for the master stateroom. Start a shower. Okay, on the bow of this boat does have a windlass. It's an aftermarket uh, anchor. Uh, does have seat covers and a nice uh, swim, or I mean a nice uh, sun sun pad. Radar arch with radar working. The top is really nice. Let's see if I can walk down this side without falling off or dropping my phone. Eyes and glasses, very nice, very good condition. And then a teak swim platform. Hey, this is the new flooring that they put in, in the helm area and the seating area back here has all been recovered as well as new helm chairs which are quite nice 
Helm station, uh, pretty simple. Uh, radio and radar over there. But yeah, this boat's in very good shape. Very, very nice. Definitely a contender. All right, we just finished looking at the uh, 84 Catalina that you just saw. Very, very nice boat. Um, we're gonna think about this one for just a little bit. I'm gonna go home and talk with Brittany about it, but uh, very nice boat and we'll see what happens here. I'm leaving the marina now, drive back to Hartford. So thanks for watching this episode of the Wisco Boater Channel. Hope you enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, send me some comments. And if you want to be notified when I post new videos like this one, hit that notification bell. We'll see you next time on the Wisco Boater Channel. Happy boating, everybody.